Hey there guys, it is Kim George here with YourChicGeek.com and oh my goodness, do I have some exciting news for all of you. Um, um, for those of you that have been following my channel, um, first off, thank you so much for being here. Um, I hope that you guys are getting a lot of value out of the content that I'm creating for you all. So um, one of my favorite, favorite uh, platforms Hey Hip has made a huge announcement and that's going to help a lot of you guys who are interested in earning passive income and earning some additional revenue through selling online courses. Yes, that is correct. So I got an email this morning um, from Pay Hip stating that they have now added a feature that allows you to sell online courses from their platform. And so I figured that I would, you know, go into the back end of my PayHip account to show you guys how to get started with this, to take a look around and just kind of look at how you can easily use this platform to sell your online courses. Okay. So I am logged in to the back of my PayHip account. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to add new product. Okay. So as you can see here from the product types, we have the digital product, physical coaching, and then course. And I am really excited about this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on course. Okay. And so here is where you would give your course a title. So uh, maybe if I wanted to do the uh, course on how to sell a coloring book with PayHip something like that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click add course. And then from here is where we can go into actually adding our uh, section titles, the course lessons and so on and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a first section here and I'm going to edit this section and I'm just going to do module one for the first section. And this is how I usually do my courses. So I'll do module one getting started. Okay, so this is going to be Hey Hip. Okay, and so I'm going to click this. And then this is where you would actually add the course lesson. So maybe a course lesson in here would be, uh, let's just give it a name. Uh, what is Pay Hip? Uh oh, so I'm going to click this and do What is Pay Hip? Okay, and so this is where you would click OK. And so from here, this is where you would go in, I guess, to duplicate your lessons. It looks like they have a discussion here so people can do discussions on this. Um, this is where you can, um, looks like, uh, you know, turn on prerequisites before people can complete, before they can move on to another lesson. It looks like this is where you can um, do a free preview if you wanted folks to preview this lesson within the course. And then this is where you can actually go to publish the lesson. So let me just go in here inside of this lesson. And this is where you actually can go in to select your lesson type. This is really, really cool stuff. So it looks like for the lesson types, guys, they have, you can do video. So this is where you can actually go to um, upload a video file. So then you can select it. Um, and so the video formats they have here is going to be all of these. Now I usually do MP4. And so you can actually upload your video in here and then PayHip is going to host your video inside of their platform. So you don't have to worry about any hosting. So this is where you can add some additional text about the specific lesson. So in this lesson, you will learn da 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 da. Okay. All right. So I think that's pretty cool. And so then this is where you can actually go to publish the lesson. And then again, you can do a free preview. You can add all of this. So this is really, really cool. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click save changes and that actually is it for that. Okay. All right. So then we can go over to the settings because we were under the curriculum tab and this is just basically, um, you know, doing the curriculum for the course. So now I'm going to go over to settings. Okay. All right. And so this is where you can actually do a product thumbnail of the course, which is actually pretty cool. So um, I would just, you know, make sure that I set this to 500 pixels. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Canva to make a product thumbnail for the course. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so I'm over in Canva and I'm going to just show you guys really quickly how to create a product thumbnail for your course. So what I'm going to do is click create a design. I'm going to do custom size. I'm going to make sure this is set for pixels and then I'm going to do 500 by 500. Okay. So I'm going to do create a new design and this is going to be a cover 
or an image that I'm setting up for branding my courses um, consistently. So this is gonna be pay here course, example, product, cover, okay? And so what I'll do, let's see if they have anything in here. So I'll do course, okay, great. So it looks like they have some stuff in here that you can use for, um, you know, to do a course with. And so what I would do is just kind of find an image. So I'll use this one as an example, okay? So I'm gonna just come in here and I'm going to brand this image with my own branding by adding um, colors and things like that, okay? So I'm gonna just change this really quickly. And then this is gonna be, you know, pay hip boot camp. Okay, and so I will center this and then learn how to use pay hip oops sell courses for passive profits. Okay, all right, so here we go. Okay, and so then I can come in here and I can actually delete this image and then I can upload some kind of graphic here or let's see here. I'll just upload this as an example, okay? And then I'll put this one over here. So, all right, done. Okay, and so then I would come here and brand this. All right, and then I'll put my site down here, yoursheepgeek.com. Okay, so this is my cover for the course. So I'm gonna download this as a PNG file. And then we're gonna go over to upload this into PayHip, okay? So you can see it says product thumbnail. I'm going to upload that image that we just downloaded from Canva, okay? All right, so it looks like they have some advanced options here where you can automatically subscribe customers to a mailing list. So um, this is where you would have to go in to set up or connect your mailing list to your PayHip account in order to do this. So this is where you can do the author name. So I'm just going to do Kim George, and then you can actually add an author profile. I'm not going to do that, but you can definitely go in to do that. I'm going to do save changes. Okay. Okay. So let's see here. So let's go to pages. Okay. So this is the sales page here. So I'm going to go ahead and click to view this and let's just take a look to see what this looks like. Wow. This is really, really cool guys. So if you wanted to go in to change this, this is the actual course page. Uh, what you can do is click edit. And this is where, this is where we're going to go in to start editing the actual back end of this. And this is really, really cool. So the course title, let's go ahead and click to select this. Okay. And I like how easy they made this. And so I'm just going to type in how to get started with PayHip. Okay. That's pretty easy. And then this is where you can actually write a description, um, learn how to sell passive income products, pay hip. Okay. And then your button text, I would do enroll now. Okay. And then the link to sell. So I would do products. And then this is where you would actually go in. So you see what I just did there. So it looks like in here, whenever you're setting up your button, you add the call to action, which is enroll now. And then it's going to ask you to go to select the product. So I'm going to select products and then this is going to be the actual product. OK, so it's linking that to the actual course. So that's pretty cool. OK, so it looks like they have a uh, heading category here. So you have heading one heading, you know, heading where you can change your headings and all of that. So I'm actually going to go back here. OK, OK, so let's see here. Example text. I want to go back here because I want to change. OK. So it looks like the background. Okay, this is what I was looking for. What I wanted to do was to change this graphic. So I don't wanna use this. I actually wanna use a uh, different kind of image right here in the background, right, for this specific course. So I'm gonna head over to pexels.com to find an image and I will be right back. Okay, so for those of you who are um, have never heard of Pexels, this is a royalty-free site that you can get free stock photos from. And um, this is where I'm actually going to go in to find a graphic to use as a header for my course. So what I'll do here is I'll just do something like uh, workspace because it just kind of reminds me of, you know, a, 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 in, in, or try to get an image that kind of um, shows that I'm going to be teaching something. So or you can kind of, you know, it's like a little desk and things like that. So, OK, so here's something. 
I'll just use this as an example. So I'm going to download this as a large graphic. I'll do free download. Okay, then we're going to head back over into uh, PayHip. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click replace. I'm going to upload and then I'm going to upload this graphic and let's just kind of see what that looks like. So choose this image. Okay, cool. So as you can see, it's a little difficult to see the words with that graphic or with this particular graphic. So uh, let's see, I'm going to adjust the opacity to make it easier to actually see the words. So you see what I did? Okay. All right. So that's that. So that's an example of how to do that. And so I'm going to go ahead and click save changes. Okay, cool. So now we can click go back and now we can go down to where it says example text, which is this section here. So this is where you can actually put another subheading. Okay. And then this is where you can actually go in to add some text here, kind of explaining the subheading of your, um, of the text. Okay. So then you can actually add a button here and then I would just do enroll now as another call to action. Okay. And so the button link is going to go to products and then I'm going to do how to sell a coloring book because that's the course that I want to sell. And so I'm going to leave that as is, and then I'm going to click save changes. Okay. And so now we can go back and then now we have another section, which is this section here. So you can actually click on this and this is where you can go to replace this graphic and um, change up the text over here. Okay. So I just went ahead and click publish on the course because I want to see how this is going to look. So what I'm going to do is click preview to see what this course page is going to look or how this is going to look. And here is what it looks like. Okay. Now, the only thing that I'm missing is because I did not set a price um, for this is so I'm going to go back here and I'm going to click back. So what I needed to do was after you get through editing the um, course page and how you want it to look. So let me go to pricing because I do need to add a price. OK, so what I'm going to do is click add a pricing plan. Oh, this is really cool. Okay. So you can do a couple of things here, guys. This is, this is really cool. So you can do a one-time payment for your pricing plan. So let's say if you want to sell your course for 49 bucks, you can sell it for $49. If you want to do a subscription where you can set up multiple payments, like every month, every two weeks, every three months, every six months, every year, that's really great for memberships. That's really awesome. So that's a good feature. Um, you can do a payment plan. So you could do maybe if someone, if you want people to be able to have three payments of like $20, you can do that. Or you can actually allow access to the course for free. And so what I'm going to do is just do one time purchase for 49. And then I will do, um, I'll give it a name of one time payment. Okay. And then I will do add the pricing plan. Okay. Okay. So that's that. All right. So now we're going to go to where it says student. So it looks like in the student section of PayHip, um, you can, this is the section where you can actually see who's all enrolled in your course. You can actually add quizzes to your course. Um, looks like you can do surveys as well. And then you can actually do assignments. Now I'm going to go back to um, my products dashboard here and I'm going to manage this or actually let me see let's see yeah so i'm going to click manage to get this finished okay so let me go to settings okay cool let me go to pages okay so this is the checkout page so this is what the checkout page looks like guys okay so this is where you can actually see the image remember that we created in canva you're going to see the name of the course you're going to see the price of the course. You can definitely add a coupon, which is great. And then this is where you can actually go over um, to do the purchases. So people can actually pay for your course through a credit card or they can pay through PayPal, which is great. So you have multiple options for folks to pay for your course. OK, and then this is the thank you page. So let's take a look at the thank you page. OK, so this is what it looks like. So it says, thanks for purchasing. We've sent an email receipt. The next step is to log in to your account. Your, your students will click log in to get started. OK, so you can actually, though, go in to edit your thank you page. OK, so you click edit and this is where it's going to show you, you know, if you wanted to add a header 
or if you wanted to add your face here maybe you know under the thanks for purchasing it looks like you can do that you can add another section here so let's look at the other section so you can do a slideshow you can do a gallery a list i mean this is really pretty cool okay so let me go back here and that is pretty pretty much it and you can actually do change the store style but i'm not going to do any of that okay you can actually drip out the content cool. so with dripping a course uh, this essentially means that you can just specify a certain schedule that you want your lessons to go out on things like that in the course but if you want to do a drip course just know that this feature is available in payhip for you to use so i'm just going to click save changes i'm not going to change anything and I'm gonna leave that there. And then now I'm gonna go to the publish tab and let's see. Okay, so the publish status is that this is in draft. So what I'm gonna do is click published and I'm gonna click visible and then I'm gonna click save changes. So now when I go to my PayHip dashboard or go to my PayHip shop, um, I should be able to see that course listed. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, so now I've published my course and now it is available for consumption over in my PayHip shop. So I'm gonna click on this. And so when people go to this, this is what they're gonna see, okay? You can see that the pricing plan is now available for 49. I like the fact that it's showing, um, you know, the different modules. And I did see where you can actually go in here and add some other things to your actual course. Okay, so this is what I meant on your sales page you can actually add some additional sections. And so what you would do if you wanted to add some other things to the page, you see where it says add section, you can click on add section. And this is where you can actually go to start adding like a feature product, a feature collection, feature collection list, blog post, testimonials, which I think is really, really great. And look at this, they actually have several different types of displays that you can use. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this to add a testimonial section. So this is where you can actually go in and add like an image of a, a customer or a, a client, you know, a customer that's giving you a testimonial and another image and another image. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save changes and I'm gonna reorganize this because I don't want this here. So let's see, if I go back and I have this testimonial section, yes, I can. So I'm gonna move this and move this here. Okay, so you see what I did? And I'm gonna click publish. All right, so now I'm gonna click to preview to see what this sales page is gonna look like now with the testimonials. Awesome, this is great, I love it, I love it. Okay, but guys, I, I really am liking what I'm seeing. I know that this is kind of a off the cuff kind of tutorial, but I really like what I'm seeing because again, you can easily integrate your courses now to your PayHip shop. Um, I'm going to give this, I'm going to test this out for a little bit longer to see if this is something that I want to do, but I may just do this. I may just use this to, you know, sell my courses from because it's easy to use. I don't have to pay any kind of monthly fees or anything like that to have access to this feature. Um, so it really makes it easy for me and, um, yeah, I really love what I'm seeing so far. So guys, tell me in the comments below what you think about the new interface. Do you think that you would be interested in using this as a viable option to sell your online courses or what platform are you using right now to sell your online courses with? So um, again, thanks so much for watching and um, you know, stay safe out there and take care guys, bye.